Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and I'm based in Kent and we have uh, two allotment plots uh, that I make videos about mostly. Um, I am on the plot today as you can see I'm in the polytunnel. We have had probably like most of the country quite a lot of rain the last couple of days but that did follow a lot of heat so hopefully everything's going to really grow where well, the weeds are anyway. It's always a constant battle isn't it the weeds. Oh fly um so i am in the polytunnel uh we've got all these tomatoes and some melons there oh which way do i go that way and then we've got lots of stuff to pot on still here we did manage to get out all of our um squashes uh we have literally squashes everywhere anywhere that there was a space we've put squashes in we've put some canes and we're going to grow them up there because we just was running out of space um but we have got some loofers so these are the loofers here uh, there's one there and two up there hang on let me turn the camera around yeah so these are my loofers i've had to bring this down because this these were on a shelf by my windowsill and this was in a pot on the windowsill and it had reached out and grabbed hold of it so um i had to bring that with it <laughs> and then these ones are starting they're sort of attached together so i'll put them near each other or separate them if i can so i've got three three of the um seeds that i germinated have survived so i've got one there one there and then one here this is the biggest one um as you can see that it's all the way down here so uh job today is to get that um potted on it will stay in the polytunnel along with the melons so the melons are in them pots i'm going to put the loofer in this pot um, because i read it needs to be in a pot at least the size of a bucket so probably that's the smallest size it can be in um, but we've got a few of these so i'm going to put i don't know if i can put i suppose one in each one um, and then we've also got some cucumber melons as well it's all about these uh, climbing plants today so these have been potted on into these big pots and we're probably going to leave them ones in them pots and they're going to grow just down across these shelves really um, and then i've got one here that needs to be potted on um, i might put that in i'm going to try this one in a hanging basket um, out on outside and then these ones will stay inside and then i think we've got some more here as well more cucumber melons so yeah these will all be potted on today. That is job of the day. And then I probably need to do this. I can't remember if this is a chili or just a normal pepper, uh, but it's got lots. I think it must be a chili because there's lots on there. Whereas um, I'm sure when I've grown peppers, it didn't have as many of them. So maybe that's a chili. So this year, what I've tried to do as well is take some sort of cuttings, if you like, from the tomato plants. Um, not that we need any more tomato plants, but I'm doing it as a trial because I did do it last year and it worked to a certain extent. I think once I learned that you could do this, it was quite late on in the season, so they didn't have enough time to actually grow tomatoes. But what you do is when you've got the suckers, so look, there's quite a big one here. So these are the suckers. So this is the main stem. This is the branch out. And then this is a sucker that sort of grows in the elbow of it. So you just snap that off and then get some compost, make sure it's nice and wet and you just put it in. Now you put it in around the outside and we'll take this one back out because it's not enough room really for that one. Um, and just keep it nice and uh, moist. So these ones I did about a week ago um, and they're looking good. So I'll leave it for a little bit longer, wait for them to grow a little bit. Uh, might, then they should have um, rooted by then and then I can move them on to bigger pots and hopefully we'll get some more tomatoes. So that's a way to um, get more tomatoes from your plants that you've got. Let me know if you've tried this before. These ones are black opal. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to see if, how it worked really. Hey, 
Won't you come along with me? I hear your neighbours, dogs is barking. So I've just removed all these suckers, um, and the reason you don't have to do this, um, but the reason I do it is because then what it does is it these take compete for nutrients from the main plant. Um, so sometimes the tomatoes can end up smaller. If you take these off, your tomatoes should end up bigger, but you won't end up with as many, if that makes sense. So it depends whether you want lots of little tomatoes or not as many bigger tomatoes. Um, so yeah, so we just take them off. We probably miss some at some point, but mostly we remove them. It's quite fun, I quite like, I quite enjoy that job. And your fingers end up smelling like tomatoes. <laughs> Look what I've just spotted. Ta -da! That's our first uh, proper courgette of the year. We'll leave it a little bit longer so that it'll be a little bit bigger. But we have lots growing, more coming through here. Um, but we do have a lot of courgette plants, so we should end up with a lot of courgettes. <laughs> That's the plan. And some more coming through here. Yay! And these are the yellow ones, look, another one. I've not grown these ones before, but a little bit different. Nice big flower there. That one isn't one that will produce um, courgettes though, because it hasn't got the bulb below it, if that makes sense. So when they flower and they've got the, the courgette behind it, this one won't. So, oh, and guys, all exciting now, look. That's a little squash. These are the like, they call patty pan type ones. So they're sort of the flat ones. We have a squash. Should do with the amount of flipping squash plants we've got. But as I say, if you watched another video where I planted all these out, didn't know what half of them were. So some of them are gonna be a surprise. We've got another one there, look. I did know what these ones were because mum did these ones. So she did put labels on them. These ones are, I will tell you, Pattison Gadget. So, that's good. These are the um, big jack-o'-lantern ones. They haven't got any on yet, which I wouldn't expect any just yet, but they are growing though. Look, it's shooting off this way, this one. So that's good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest these potatoes. We're gonna harvest from this end that way so that it gives them space to grow as well. Um, Cause all these potatoes were planted at the same time. So we're gonna harvest from this end, hopefully that way. So this is a pot I'm gonna put the chili in, but like when you buy them, they don't have holes in. And I meant to bring a screwdriver cause I normally stick a screwdriver through the bottom, but I forgot. So I'm gonna go and find something that I can use. And when I've been down here before, I've used mum's that weed cutter thing to make a little bit of a dent and then I use the scissors. But when I came down the other day, oh, I couldn't find her weed thing. So I don't know where, if she's left it up on the other plot. So I'm just walking down to the shed, because so that's where it should be. Um, oh, so many weeds on this path. And look, I wanted to harvest some elderflowers today. But the rain, they're all falling off, they're all on the floor. Uh, there might still be some, but I should have probably done it last week, which is annoying. Oh, oh, little baby rabbit. Oh, see it, just there. Shouldn't be there though. Shouldn't be there, little rabbit. At least it can't come in here, I don't think. So I end up opening the shed door and getting covered in elderflowers. <laughs> Worst things, I suppose. I'm going to see if I can just do the scissors because I can't find Mum's thing. She'll be down later and she'll be able to tell me where it is, but I'm being impatient. No, these aren't sharp enough to go through. Oh, yes they are. And I've gone through the thing at the bottom as well. Let's try. One down, three to go.
Look at them, tiny. Just so you can see how tiny. Focus. There, tiny. There's quite a few of them all coming up. That means it's quite damp, does it? I don't know. Anyone know what kind of mushrooms they are? Quite pretty. Right, back to making holes in this pot. Distracted by um, little mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. So I've right, got one more hole to do, and then I've got about another three pots to do as well. Not the easiest way of doing it, but I now have four holes. Now I've got to put some compost in. I've got a big bag of compost in the car. I need mum to help me with, so it's going to stay there until she can, uh, until she's down and she can help me. But I'm going to put pot on this pepper first, and then move on. Use the bigger bag for this big pot for the roofers. There's a place from where they came. In fact, I've decided to leave that bigger one in that pot that it's already in and put a different one in this pot because I think that pot will be all right for a chili. Um, and then this one's too small, obviously. So I'm going to put this one in here and leave the other one in that pot. I think it'd be all right in that pot. I'm sure I grew them in that size last year and I've got loads of chilies off of it. Um, it was a KN chili plant and I've got loads and loads and it, it just kept producing them. So I think that size pot should be okay. Um, and then I'll use this, this one for this size because we haven't got loads of this size pots. I don't want enough room for the, uh, this, the amount that we would um, need for the amount of chilies we've got. Um, so I probably will need to use some smaller ones, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes in there. Because I have got some more of these pots over here, um, down there, but they've got aubergines in. And then I've still got, let me show you, all of these are the razzmatazz chilies that I've potted onto these small pots, but obviously they'll need to go into bigger ones. Probably this size pot would be good. I have to get some more of them. I don't know where mum got that size from, but that's probably a good size one. That's what we need. More of them. So I've potted the um, the big roofer. Uh, see if I can show you. So it's quite long. So now I'm just going to put some. I'm going to undo that now. Put some canes in and some string and give it something to climb up. Now I've never grown loofers or melons before. So, I mean, how big do they grow? I mean, that's quite high up already. Is it okay that they're right next to each other? Hmm. And I've got to fit another two of them in. I'm going to put them here. Uh, and tie the sticks to there but hopefully that'll be strong enough I've tied that one to there so that one is tight and then this is obviously tied to there so I'm hoping that'll be enough but if you've grown loofers or melons let me know is that I'm, I'm not even sure it's gonna be strong enough eventually we might have to do something tie it to there somehow because um, once I actually get the fruit, obviously it's quite big, isn't it? So, I eh, don't know. Look at these um, leaves. They're, they're little drops of water around the outside. I don't know if it's where it's dropped off at the top of the polytunnel, but I don't know why it's just sitting on the, just on the edges like that. <laughs> Looks pretty though. So mum's just got here with reinforcements. 
<laughs> I asked her to bring a uh, screwdriver so I can make holes in the pots. We should put a whole drill instead, which would be so much easier uh, and quicker. So I'm going to put the holes in all the pots bring now. Out your goods and your channels, and all the treasures that can travel. I'll fix the wheel and all the axles. So it's now a uh, actually a few hours later. It's surprising. I've been here probably six and a half hours. I don't feel like I've done six and a half hours worth of work. But we have now planted out all tomatoes, all cucumelons, all no, not all peppers. I've still got more at home. <laughs> but we're getting there. So let me show you what I've done. So this is what the polytunnel looks like now. Uh, there is quite a lot in there. It's not all going to stay in there. It's, we're just putting it in there for now. Um, so we've put two of the loofers over here. So this one and this one. And what we've done is we've put this sort of net in. Um, hopefully it's going to be strong enough so that it can grow up and over um, or along. We might put some more along here. So we've got the two loofers here. These are the aubergines. And then we've got some more peppers. I did plant on that other pepper in the end, pot it on, uh, and then another pepper. Then we've got uh, black Russian tomato. These are the tomatoes that were already in. These are little troughs with three pepper plants in each. We just need to stake them. This has got three cucumelons in, which is going to go outside. I just want it to get a little bit stronger first because I think it's supposed to rain tonight and I think the rain will just squash it. Uh, another pepper and then we've got the melons are back over here we've left the string with the sticks but we have put the uh, netting on there as well all along the back and then over here we've got that other loofer so I've taken the sticks out because they they're too tall they keep hitting on the top of here um, so it's going to hopefully grow up this netting as well that's the plan anyway um, we've got two these cucumelons were already in here and then we've got some more peppers along here. I've taken a shelf out so that they can then grow up. There's enough room for them to grow up and they will be staked as well. And then, let me take you out here. So we've put some tomatoes, a row of tomatoes here. Uh, this had radishes in that were finished now. So um, we've put tomatoes in there and then these are each tomatoes. And then one little one up the end there. And then over here, we've got a little bed. This is a little no dig bed. It's got a bit of, um, like an old uh, compost bag and at the bottom. And then we've put this on top, put some compost in, obviously. That's got three tomatoes in. And then this pot here. So what have we got here? This is a money maker. I keep reading that as honey maker. It's like, no, it doesn't, it's a money maker. And then these are um, alicante and i think that's another alicante and another money maker there and i think we have got some gardener's delight somewhere that might be what's in the ground over here like this one here is a gardener's delight so these were all started at home mum and dad's uh in their summer house um so yeah we're gonna stake all them tomorrow right and here what we've got is it's a, like an old washing line thing that had been concreted into a bucket. So I thought I was going to hang cucumelons on there and they can hang down. But the trouble is, is they're hitting the ground. Um, so I'm going to, there is a comfrey bush here that we're going to take out. Uh, so I'm going to try and train it to go along this bit here. Uh, and then we're going to hang some... Um, trailing toms instead because I don't think they will trail as much as what the cucumelon will because I mean it's already nearly down to the ground so let's put that there don't them potatoes just look so good there's mum <laughs> tidying up we've just got to water everything in now and then yeah we need to water everything in that we've pot, um, planted uh, and then we're going home because we're tired now uh, tomorrow's jobs will be sorting through our seeds and sowing some seeds because we need to succession sow and also have a look at what we need to plant for sort of winter crops and what's going to take the place 
the stuff we've got in. So for example, I just showed you my big potato bed. Um, obviously when the potatoes come out in a couple of months, actually not a couple of months, probably uh, next month, um, then obviously something will take their place. They won't all come out at the same time because they'll come out as and when we want them. Um, but yeah, we do need to uh, put something else in and I'm not sure what we're going to put in yet so we need to plan that but I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what jobs you've been doing this week on your plot what you've got growing well and um, I'll see you all in the next one bye